Hello, Network to Code community. My name is Tim Fayola. I'm a developer advocate here at Network to Code. And today we're going to be talking about Nodabot Chat Ops. This is the agenda we'll be following today. We'll talk about the Chat Ops plugin itself. Then we'll go on to discuss Nodabot as a platform and then the Chat Ops plugin as a framework to support multiple chat bots. So let's talk about the Nodabot Chat Ops plugin. ChatOps makes tools and applications easier to use. Chat applications are everywhere. They're on phones, tablets, laptops, basically anywhere on the web. Using ChatOps with your systems and tools makes your systems and tools easier to use because ChatOps makes it conversational in nature. So ChatOps is the enabler. Now, you can try ChatOps with a Nautobot chatbot and Network to Code's public Slack workspace. If you go to the Nautobot chat channel, you'll be able to interact with a Nautobot chatbot to test some of the uh, Nautobot's out of the box chat commands with the chatbot. Nautobot's ChatOps plugin currently supports Slack, Teams, WebEx, and Mattermost chat applications. However, the plugin is extensible to other chat platforms as well. The Nautabot ChatOps plugin is not just about Nautabot as a source of truth. Nautabot is becoming the platform. ChatOps is the framework to support a chatbot for any underlying technology you need. Nautabot ChatOps plugin is not just about using chat to execute operations in Nautabot itself. In fact, the Nautabot ChatOps plugin framework allows Nautabot to host chatbots for almost any underlying technology, be it Ansible, Cisco, Juniper, Arista. If it has an API, it can be ChatOps enabled. Let's talk about the ChatOps plugin framework features. Nautabot's ChatOps plugin framework makes it easy to create and support chatbots for any application or tool that you have that has an API. So the user does not have to create the infrastructure to support the chatbot. That infrastructure will be created and supported by the ChatOps plugin framework for you. So Nautabot becomes the platform, the ChatOps plugin becomes the framework, and that framework supports the chatbots. Now the ChatOps platform framework provides three key features. The first feature we're going to talk about is the capability for the ChatOps plugin framework to abstract the code you use to interact with your technology from the chat application that supports the chatbot for the technology itself. So in the middle here, in this example, you have written code that interacts with your technology. Let's say you're using Ansible. Then on the right here, we see that the Ansible bot chatbot is enabled both in Slack and Teams. And now you need it that chatbot enabled in WebEx as well. The ChatOps plugin framework makes it easy to set the enable WebEx Teams flag in the in the chat ops, excuse me, in the chat ops plugin to enable that Ansible chatbot in WebEx as well. And you can do this without having to modify your underlying code that's interacting with Ansible. The second feature we'll talk about is customized permissions. Nautabot's chat ops framework gives the administrator control over which channels a chatbot can access, as well as permissions for channels, users, and even specific chat commands as well. The third feature is logging. The chat ops plugin has a built-in logging infrastructure. This logging tracks which user is requesting what operation in what channel. Now, this logging is available both in the Nautobot web UI as well as on the server itself. Network to Code has additional chat ops resources for the community. We have a couple of videos on YouTube. There's a Network Field Day 24 uh, video, which talks about how chat ops can help your operations. And there's also a, another video to get chat ops up and running with Slack um, step by step. This includes everything from configuring the Slack application itself to configuring Nautobot to configuring the, ch the 
the ChatOps plugin itself. We have a couple additional blog posts on the, on the ChatOps plugin. And we also have the ChatOps plugin repo available on GitHub. And finally, we have the Nautobot and Nautobot chat channels available on our Network to Code Slack public workspace. The Nautobot channel, you can go and ask any questions you have about Nautobot. And the Nautobot chat channel allows you to actually test drive a Nautobot chat bot. I hope this overview has been helpful to you. Thank you and have a great day.